Genesis chapter 2 verse 7 says that God formed man from the dust of the ground and then he breathed into man the breath of life and man became a living soul. Now this testifies that there is an element of God in every human being. There is an element of God in me and there is an element of God in you. There is an element of God in every human being that exists on this planet Earth today. This is also a confirmation that man is having this powerful force dwelling inside him. And man is equipped with this powerful force, the God force, that can make man achieve anything that he sets up his mind to achieve. You are equipped with a very powerful force that makes you qualified for the achievement of anything that you set up your mind to achieve. This is the element of God that dwells inside you. In Romans 8:11, the Bible says that if the spirit of him that raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, he who raised Jesus from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies through his spirit that dwells inside you. This means that the spirit that dwells inside you is strong enough to quicken your mortal bodies for the achievement of any humanly purpose or any spiritual purpose that you set up your mind to achieve. I am here to tell you that you are not just any man. You are not just an ordinary man. You have a God force in you. You are part of the universal God force. You are born to be great. Of all the millions of spends that was released when your mother and your father met, you are the one that became victorious. You became victorious the day you were born because you became a victor out of 25 million people or spends that was released. You are already a victor. You were born a victor. You were born to be victorious over every circumstance. Today, human beings are being dehumanized. We have succumbed to the problems of this world. But I am here to tell you that problems in this world today are given to us by God. So they are good. In fact, if you see them as problems, that is where they overcome you. But I am here to tell you that begin to see every problem that you face in your life as a challenge. It is an opportunity for you to bring out the God force inside you. It is recorded in the Bible that in the beginning, the earth was without form and void and darkness ruled over the surface of the earth. But God spoke and behold, it became. If God falls, if that God force is inside you, you have the ability to also speak and let it be. You have the ability to also act and let it be. You have the ability to also change every negative circumstance or situation in your life. I am here to encourage you today that you are not just an ordinary human being. You have this God force within you. Every problem that you are facing today, God gave it to you because you need it. It is a challenge. It is something that you are supposed to solve. And through your solutions, people will see the value inside you. And when people begin to see the value inside you because of the problems you can solve, when people begin to realize the God force within you, this is when you become valuable. This is when people pay you for the solutions you render to mankind. Every problem that you face in your community, every problem that you recognize in this world, don't start complaining. Don't be the one that always complains because of the problems that exist in your community. Be a problem solver. Start thinking about creative ways of solving problems. That is the essence of the God force inside you. Start thinking solutions. Start creating solutions. When you solve problems for mankind, you become valuable to mankind. The world is filled with people who are looking for employment today. Yes, everyone is looking to be employed today. When people are employed, the essence is that we don't know how to make use of the God force within us. When we are employed, it simply means that we are unable to make good use of that God force, the strength, our thinking capability, or our intellectual faculty. We hire ourselves to people to use us for their work so that we, they pay us. At the end of the day, 
people who are employed live on the easy side of life because we don't end up applying our own intellectual faculties. People who have dreamed about problems hire people who hire extra hands to solve such problems for them. And that is how come we get employed. We get employed when somebody has thought of a solution but needs extra hands for the creation of the solution. When you are employed today, that is the reason why even when you have a good idea about a solution to a problem, you need an approval from your boss before you can apply that idea. It is because you are not on your own and the problem that you are solving is not your own problem. You are helping somebody to solve a problem. You are rendering your hand to the solution of the problem in exchange for an amount of money. But ask yourself, when will you start solving your own problems? Because when you hear, when you hear people who have been employed talk, the only thing they achieve in life is to build their house, is to build their house, is to buy their car, is to do something for themselves. That is the selfish life that people who are employed live. And it is not their fault because they've not been given the opportunity to do things on their own. But that opportunity is there for everyone. If you are looking for a job today, if you are going around seeking for employment today, and you are not getting some, I am here to tell you that it is time to stop and look inside you. Most of us, God created us to employ people and not to be employed. Most of us, God created us to lead and not to be led. That is why people don't see that capacity in you. They don't see you as somebody who is capable of being led because you are a leader. Stop looking around for employment and start creating opportunities out of the problems that exist in the world today. You were born, you were created, you were equipped for success in life. Success will depend on the solutions that you render to the problems of mankind. What problem exists in your community? What problem exists in your own life? When you start solving your own problems, and when you start solving problems of your community, of the world, you become useful to the world. Today is another day. Take your time and think about this. God said there is a spirit that can quicken you. That spirit, my brother, my sister, is the spirit of God. And it is given to those who have good connection with their creator. So I am here to tell every Christian who is a solid Christian that if you are poor, then you have made yourself poor. Because there is a spirit inside you that is not supposed to make you poor. If you start utilizing that spirit today, if you start doing today, if you start acting today, you will become a success. People will chase you for your value and people will follow you because of the value that you render in their lives. This has been Motivated Minds. You can always find us on our YouTube channel, Motiminds TV. You can also connect with us on Facebook, Motiminds. You can also log on to our website, www.motiminds.com. Or if you have any talent, you can also register at motivatedstars.com. We will help you unleash your talents for the benefits of mankind. God bless you.